on this car we've got two fuse boxes one is going to be under the hood here the second fuse box is going to be under the dashboard so let's start with the fuse box under the hood all right so let's start with fuse number one this is for the headlight low beam left and headlight low beam right fuse three high beam left fuse four high beam right fuse five the horn Fuse 6 front fog lights and Fuse 7 daytime running lights. This one is SBF1 for radiator fan. SBF2 is for the anti-lock braking system. Then Fuse number 10 is for the starter motor. Fuse 12 is for stop lights or brake lights. Fuse 13 is for the engine control management. This is basically the ignition coil. Again, engine control management. This is responsible with some of the sensors on the engine and this one is responsible for the alternator. This is fuse 15. Fuse 16 is for the hazard warning lights. Fuse 17 if you have automatic transmission you're gonna have a fuse here. Fuse 18 is for the air conditioning and fuse 19 is for the ATV. It's a part of the engine control management. This BF2 fuse is for the stereo system in the car. Fuse 20 is for the battery electric sensor. It measures the voltage of the battery. Fuse 21 is for the CVT oil pump. Basically, if you have automatic transmission. Fuse 22 is for the fuel pump. And Fuse 23 is engine management control system. You've got a lot of sensors like manifold absolute pressure sensor, throttle body, mass airflow sensor, and so on. And Fuse 24, if you have automatic transmission, you're going to find one here. Uh, 7.5 amps then this big fuse here is for the ignition switch and sb4 is for the power window control okay now let's go to the relays i can start first with these two the problem is that i don't know which one of these is for the fuel pump because i try to activate them and nothing changes for some reason i try to take them out right now the keys are in the ignition and Anyway, one of them is for the fuel pump. This one is for the defroster, window defroster. This one is for the engine control management. This includes a lot of air sensors like manifold absolute pressure sensor, mass airflow sensor, throttle body and oxygen sensors. So if I install this right now because the keys are in the ignition, you're going to hear the sound from the throttle body. This one is also for engine control management. It's responsible with the ignition, including the injectors. This one is for the daytime running lights. This one is for the headlights high beam, horn relay and cooling fan relay. And we are done with the fuse box under the hood. Now I want to show you these relays. Okay, there is absolutely no diagram on them. However, you can see by the thickness of these terminals these two are going to connect the positive side of the part and these two are the control side now let's say if you want to see a fuse you've got this peak which you can find it here grab the fuse and that wire in the middle shouldn't be broken fuse number one is for the tail light left fuse number two is for the cigarette lighter Fuse number 3, engine management control, ignition coil. Fuse number 4, which is behind here, is for the starter motor. Fuse 7 is for the tail light right. Fuse 8, outside rear view mirrors. Fuse 9 is for the engine control management. Fuse 10, back here, is also for engine management. Fuse 11 is for the rear fog light. Fuse 12 is for door lock. Fuse 13 is for the interior light dome light fuse 14 is for the rear window wiper and 15 is for the gouges then in the corner here you've got the relay for the engine control management on fuse 18 we've got option i try to search for it but i cannot find anything fuse 19 heated outside rear view mirrors behind these wires here we've got fuse 20 it's for the windshield wiper and 21 in the corner here it's for the backup light now behind all these wires here i'm going to show you on the diagram this one is for the defogger 
this one is for heater this one is for radio and this one is for the engine control management okay guys these were all the fuses and relays location on this mitsubishi mirage thanks for watching go ahead and check out the other videos i made about this car and until next time drive safe so i can see you in the next video